Hi guys, Ben here. I'm outside Anfield after we just beat Palace 1-0. I'm here with Steve Hoare, Hello, everyone. some of you might know. We're going to do some player ratings. 1-0, uh, what, what are your thoughts on the game? I thought we played pretty well. I thought we defended on the whole pretty well. They had a few chances, but you know they've come here and I don't think we've beaten them in three games, Anfield. So it's a, even a 1-0, you'll take it every time at this stage of the season. Yeah. With the injuries, with the whole Coutinho thing, just take the three points and run. Yeah, it wasn't a thriller, was it? I mean, I think I said to you about 60. I can't see where the goal's coming from. We've got Salah on, got Slanky on. Uh, and we've got a bit of luck, really, for the goal. Yeah, fair play to manager. I was critical of the subs at Watford. I thought they were really poor subs, and I think that's why we lost. Well, we, well sorry, we drew. I think his subs helped change the game. He got Mane over on the left, he got Salah on the right. He paired Solanke up with, uh, with Firmino. And I was saying to you, as he come on, I think he's going to take Firmino off. So for him to take Genie off and go almost 4-4-2, he obviously yeah. went for the win. So when you gamble, you make your own luck, I think. So I think in the end, we just about deserve to win. Yeah, fair, because that's fucking there. <laughs> Little legend. Um, so let's go through player ratings. Obviously, Mignolet didn't have much to do today. Um, I thought he made one big save from punching. Other than that, I think he uh, there weren't many crosses for him to deal with. I think maybe one or two that had to come and claim, and he, he claimed them pretty well. So I think for me, it's probably about a seven. I yeah, mean, he, he was good. He was fine. No issues. He kicked everything away. He caught everything. Made the one, the pretty much the one save he had to make. He was fine. Yeah, uh, Gomez. I thought really offered good. offered more than you'd expect from a right back like him. I, he, he's very obviously defensive, and I remember when he played at left back uh, a couple of years ago against West Ham at home. He was very restricted and couldn't really couldn't really generate much at all. But today I thought he did okay. Some good crosses. Yeah, he, well he got forward as often as he could. He defended pretty well on the whole, didn't he? So yeah, he was. I thought he had a really good game, and for a centre back playing right back. Um, Obviously, he started a couple of seasons ago as a left back as well. He's played all across the line. I thought he had a good game, and I'm with you in that I didn't expect him to contribute so much going forward. So, I, yeah, maybe a seven again. Yeah. Probably fair. I think Matip is probably his best performance in a long time for Liverpool. I thought he de dealt with Benteke very well. Um, and he, he was against Townsend a lot as well, and uh, he kept trying to take him on. He was, he was very strong, very confident. Yeah. And I don't know if whether Clavin was next to him had any impact on that, uh, whether he doesn't trust Lovren as much as Clavin, I don't know. Um, for me, it was an 8 out of 10 for Matip today. Yeah, I'm with you. I thought yeah, it was one of his better games. You know, I've got a theory on Matip, and you know, your viewers might agree, disagree, is that I don't think he's that good. No, maybe but, com but, but compared to what we've got and what we've had recently, he looks excellent. So if you put him in a team with some of the, the great centre backs we've had with, you know, Hippies and Carragher's over the last decade or so, he doesn't compare. But when you compare him to your Skirtles and to your Lovrens and yeah. to your Clavans, he's a step above. And I think he showed, but, but today it was arguably one of his better games. He, yeah. he had a lot, you know, Benteke kept having to foul him in order to try yeah. and beat him. He, he had Andros Townsend for pace, which was a surprise because Townsend's quick. So yeah, I think eight for. And I thought that uh, Clavin did okay. I thought, I mean, I was really good feet. I was, good more, feet. I was more comfortable with him than I was with Lovren for uh, Watford. And I thought there's one moment in the first half when they did a little Cruyff turn game. Um, and just generally very calm, composed, and confident. Yeah, yeah, he had no real issues. I think Loftus Cheek had a beat not even once or twice. Everything away, he took the ball away, so he's, he's prepared to get in there. So maybe a seven, yeah. Maybe I think maybe seven, seven. Right. And I thought Robertson had a great first half, but there's great crosses that we should have got the end of. Second half gave the ball away a few times, but generally a good home debut for him. You can see the reason for signing him is that he bombs forward and he's got a wonderful left foot. Some of those crosses were amazing, and it just basically just people the position in our forwards wasn't great for them. In that, you know, he, he put a couple of really good balls in, and he, he was close, he obviously got close with the Matic chance as well. He got given man of the match by you know Anfield giving him the man of the match, and I can see why probably an eighth maybe. Yeah, I think that's about right. And I think uh, going to the midfield, Henderson. I think in the first half, especially some of the like we know with him, you get the sprayed long passes, which he's sort of become known for. Um, but I thought at times it was, he was doing it for the sake of doing it. But like, it was very serious, you know, like, he, he's been watching too much Steven Gerrard from the Yeah, maybe. I thought his passing was erratic at times. Yeah, he, 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 the, the crowd booed, not, not, not so much booed, but they were on his case of it, but that yellow card was really hard to keep. It was maybe a six, maybe six, seven, six, six seven. Fair. I thought he was okay. And I think I'd probably go the same for Genie, who was... Even, a, and you could, a, say, you could say the same for Milner, mate, as well, in that the midfield wasn't fantastic, it was functional. It didn't, it, it nullified Palace more, than, I thought it, it nullified Palace more than it offered us an attacking threat, which, you know, we are missing. You know, Coutinho and we are missing Alana, so maybe the manager just thought 
let's just nullify Palace in the middle and we'll use our explosive front three yeah. to, to score the goals. So I think you could give Genie and James Milner a six yeah, because like, yeah. they were fine, but they were never. Excuse me, they were never exceptional, they were never poor. They were it's, just, it's, it's probably not a midfield that you want to go with long term, especially at home against a team like Palace. You would want one creative midfield. You would yeah. want, and it wasn't a surprise that it took one of them going off for us to get an extra attacker on to get the goal because I always felt we were one short in attack. And that's what happens because Lamar's injured, Phil's got a, you know, a bad back. Make it that what you will. So it was more functional than, than it was creative. So when the manager went more to a 4 1, sorry, 4 4 1 1, we looked. We, we, look, we always look like we had the extra man because they they were pretty comfortable when we had three. Yeah. So when we made the four, so like I say, it was a good suit from the manager to make it four. And I think six is all around for the midfield. Is probably about right. Uh, Firmino played wide left. I thought he struggled a bit. Um, he, he, kept, he dropped in deep quite a lot. Uh, some nice touches, but some some really off passing today. Some some flicks that just weren't needed. Um, he works his arse off though, that's, that's the one he, thing he'll he does give you. do that, and yeah. today he did that really well, but I some of his interplay with, with, with some of the rest of the front team. Yeah, he was hit, I think six is probably about right, and he was, he, was, he was hit and miss. He was good at times, and then at other times he, he would try one too many things. And again, I do think that was more to do with the players around him. He should have three options around him, and instead he only had two. But yeah, I think maybe a six. I don't think Sturridge was quite on it today either. I, I, he's only on for 60 minutes, but it never really... Sh- it, it, his feet were great, of course, they always are, but... Never really showed any signs of, of breaking them. I mean, I was really concerned. Obviously, he was running all over the top that goes, and he, he looked like he was running quicksand. I was saying he he needs everything off the feet. He needs to be he needs to be more rude than this, the right type. He needs to be in and around the box, scoring goals, taking that chance because he's not a guy who's going to run to the end of the balls anymore. I don't think because he. He was re- he looked really slow. I think it's probably a six. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, Mane, I thought might have got man of the match. I think it was between him and Matic for me. Obviously, Robertson got it. Um, Mane, I thought was really bright. Gets the goal, obviously. Yeah, um, he, he was good. He, he wasn't as good as he was on wet on uh, was it Tuesday? But no, he's always our main threat, isn't he? If I had to, other than Daniel Sturridge, if I had to pick one person one on one, I would pick Sturridge. But other than that, I would pick Mane at the moment, yeah. which is credit to him because he is a winger. He's not a striker. So you, you should pick a Solanke, maybe or Naridi or even a Fabino, but I would pick Salah. Uh, sorry, I would pick Mane every time. Because I, I, when that ball fell to him, I was confident he was gonna score. So as a match winner, yeah, maybe seven, seven, eight maybe, but yeah. he wasn't his greatest game, but you know, there was rumours that he, there was rumours that he was gonna be left out, but to be fair to him, you know, we had this guy, we had this player man on toast quite a lot. The way the game panned out didn't really suit him. I don't think there was not there wasn't much space for him to exploit. Palace defended pretty well. But yeah, he was good. In terms of the subs, Salah came on and didn't really have much of an impact. Yeah, I think I, I think he should score that header. If I'm honest, I think he made the save too easy for the goal. Very cross by Gomez. Very, very good ball. And he, he heads straight to the goal. But just his presence at times, you know, his pace was electric. You see, you can see it over five yards. I thought he was good, but for half an hour, it was a good good home debut, not a great home debut. And I felt Solanke again struggles to get into the game, probably about a he should, six again. again. He, has a, he has a chance to score, doesn't he? That maybe he could. Great chance. It was a good chance was a, on his left foot. Yeah, it was a decent save. I like. I've got a big feeling about Solanke. I think he's going to be really, really good. Listen, for 20 minutes, there's not much more you can do. Over he, should, he probably should score, but it's a decent save. Um, I've got. I've got a good feeling about Slanky. I think he's going to yeah, be a good He's goal probably goal. above Origi in the back order now, isn't he? He should be. Origi was terrible when he came on against Watford and Slanky all through the pre season, all through the couple of cameos he's made. Uh, he should be, you know, it should be Firmino, then it should be Sturridge, and then it should be him. Yeah, and in, uh, in my opinion. Lovren came on at the end. Was, all the best, Dijon. <laughs> just head, head away a couple of times. But, uh, <laughs> to be fair, I got that so because they, I don't know if anyone at home might not, might not have noticed though, if you're watching, they just threw Scott down up front. And I'm like, yeah, good. He was dreadful, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he wasn't good up front. He kept getting offside, he kept missing everything. But yeah, I basically said that. And, and we were watching it, and he was pointing at, 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 um, at, at Scott Dan, saying, You just stand on him. And as the ball goes to him, head it away. And that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it was interesting that he didn't play. Yeah. Whether it's a, a tactical thing, an injury thing, or whether he just. The rest of him. Who knows what it was, but we, what I would say, and I'm not the biggest critic, I'm not his biggest fan, we look more calm without Absolutely. him. Absolutely, I agree. Look, we look calm without him, and that's an indictment on him. It's a, it's a, it's a plus point for Clavin. It's an well, indictment on him. I mean, Clavin is not the most uh, convincing defender of all time, but he is very calm. But whether it makes a mistake or not, he's, he's still very calm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, John Olsen's walking he, by. His head doesn't go, does it, oh, John? <laughs> um, but look, three points. The first one, um, we don't... We don't we don't necessarily look as convincing as United and City, but um, it's a win. Listen, I mean, 
Last year, we had a great start to the season, and we had three points after two games. We've got four points after two games now. At this stage of the season, you just, we, just get your points in the bag. Hopefully, we make a couple of signings because I'm not very optimistic on the transfer window. I, I, I've, like I've said to you, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pessimistic. I look at where I think it's going at the moment, but four points from two isn't horrendous. No. It isn't great. You've got to just, just win. Just, just, just keep until you click. Just keep winning, and that's what we did today. We beat the team who we never beat, so that's a positive. So four points and two, still in the Champions League. I think we can be pretty happy with today. Steve, thanks for coming on. Yeah, well, we we'll enjoyed it today. We enjoyed the hospitality today. Yeah, um, so yeah, guys, hope you're happy with the win. Um, you know, one nil, but you know, step in the right direction. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do subscribe for all this sort of stuff. Follow my other socials. Ben my face. It's Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. See you next time. Up the Reds.